Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the pixellab.net. I am super excited for this tutorial. This is an absolutely awesome effect and now it's super simple too. So this is the polygon unfolding kind of look and there have been tons of examples of this in the past that I really like. Uh, this is one that I've seen that has kind of those unfolding polygons creating the video board and it's a really really cool effect but takes a long time to set up but no longer we have this awesome c40 script by roan and this guy is free so let's take a look at this video really quick uh, so basically this is a script to set up your polygons so that they can unfold very easily and you can see that there's a lot of different ways they can unfold and uh, it's a very very cool effect so let's go ahead and jump right in if you go to his uh, Vimeo page here, and I'll put a link to it, uh, if you scroll down in the comments, there is a Dropbox link where you can download a zip file and uh, go ahead and unzip that guy. And what you're gonna get is one, two, three, four, five different folders, and these are script folders. So what you're gonna do is put these all in your uh, Cinema 4D uh, folder, the library folder, and then scripts. Put them all in here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and then you also have this guy, which is not a script, it's a C40 file, but this guy is very, very important. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this with the script so I know where it is. You can put it wherever you want. Uh, but basically what we're gonna do is open this guy up. Let's go ahead and open it up. And what you're gonna get is a code null, and it has a Python tag. And this Python tag has all the user data that is gonna make this puppy run. Uh, okay, so we got that guy. And then also you'll notice these icons up here. These are the icons for the script. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to Window Customization and then uh, Customize Palettes. And then type in Roan. And then you'll have the five different icons. So try to set these up the way that I have them with the orange single polygon, then the orange three polygon, then the orange two green four and green two. Make sure to set them up in the right order uh, like mine. I believe these kind of go sequentially from uh, left to right. So make sure they're in the right order. All right, so we got those things set up. Now let's go ahead and make our polygons. So we'll just do a cube and before we make it edible, we gotta add some polygons. So let's do 10 on all sides. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit C or this button over here, which is gonna make it editable. All right, so now we need to select polygons for it to understand which ones we want to unfold, right? So we're gonna to go to our polygon mode and we're gonna to go to our live selection and we're gonna pick a path that we want these guys to unfold on. All right, now we got those set. All right, so now's when we hit the first one with the single orange polygon and uh, popped it up over here, let me drag it. Okay, so we have a bunch of different options here. I'm gonna leave it on the default, but there are different ways you can select so that they unfold differently. Uh, we're gonna go by polygon and smooth, hit okay. Original Biba Halton, that means, do you wanna keep a copy of the original? Yes, good thing I know many languages. So then we have our backup cube here in case we screw something up. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the red stoplight on there. And now what we have is this cube. And if we twirl it down, we have all of these uh, polygon faces and they are all nested. Um, but what we need is a hierarchy of them so that they can unfold uh, sort of like you would do with if you added bones to it, right? So what we're gonna do is select all of them and then we're gonna click the second button, which is the three orange ones. And popped it up over here, let's go ahead. Um, blah, 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 I don't know what that means, but uh, just click Nakbar, because that's the magic button. I don't know what that means, but basically what it's gonna do is uh, make a hierarchy of all these different guys. So we have all of our different uh, polygons now in a hierarchy. So if we click on the first one, if we go to our move tool, actually let's go to rotate, and we move it. Now you can see that they're all parented to this one. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. It's actually rotating uh, based on the middle, which is usually not what you want if you are doing this polygon unfolding trick, right? So let's undo that. So what we wanna do is change the, uh, the rotation axis point, right? So let's go ahead and hit that first one and we'll go to the third button, which is the two orange and what it's gonna have is a up vector and it, it changes automatically, so all you have to do is hit okay and watch this axis point. It's gonna slide over to the edge. And now if we grab that guy and rotate it, we're going from the edge, which is gonna set everything up perfectly. 
All right, so we have everything set up now. Now we gotta integrate this tag. So let's take this tag and drop it right onto that top one. Not the one where it's all nested in, but the, uh, the first uh, polygon face. And now under this tag, we have to click use. So check that on. And now we are ready to make some magic. All right, so we're gonna go to our unfold and let's start dragging this guy and check that out. Unbelievably easy, right? such a great effect and it's uh, completely set up for you just a few clicks of the button and the axis points are all perfectly lined up everything's perfectly uh, nested and uh, not only that but it's actually doing some pretty cool things behind the scenes all of these polygons have the stoplights off right so they're not visible because if they were all visible this guy would have a huge stack of polygons here and would be thick and kind of ridiculous looking um, that is not what we want for this effect, but this script takes care of all of that. Once we hit the point where a second one needs to pop up, you'll notice that the green traffic lights turn on. So automatically it's turning them on based on when it hits that position, the next one will pop on. So that means that we have a very seamless uh, look to this effect which is really cool. Now, one other cool thing is this unfold fade, and that's gonna pop them on a little bit earlier so that there are multiple uh, polygons on at the same time. And the effect that you get when you do that is that it unfolds. Very cool, you know, this is the kind of look that you'd get if you rigged it up with uh, bones and then had a whole sequence of them kind of unfurling like a finger. And that is another really, really awesome effect. So, like I said, I'm really excited about this. I have not actually tried this effect because I was kind of daunted by setting it all up manually with the deadlines that I have. But now that we have this script, man, it's on. Let's do this thing. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope this is as exciting for you as I find it. Uh, this is just such a great effect and this is gonna make it really simple. So a huge thanks to Roan for putting this, uh, this script together. It looks awesome and I can't wait to use it in a project. Guys, thanks for checking out thepixellab.net, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.